Trailblazers, Miss Chrisinger here, and I'm going to read you the story of Bunny Cakes. This is a story by Rosemary Wells, and it's one of my favorite books. It was Grandma's birthday. Max made her an earthworm birthday cake. No, Max, said Max's sister, Ruby. We're going to make Grandma an angel surprise cake with raspberry fluff icing. Yum, yum, yum. That sounds a whole lot better than an earthworm birthday cake. So here's Max, and here's Ruby and their brother and sister. Max wanted to help. Don't touch anything, Max, said Ruby trying to make the birthday cake. But it was too late. Ruby sent Max to the store with a list that said, can you see what happened? So now they need some more eggs. Max wanted red hot marshmallow squirters for his earthworm cake. So he wrote, he crossed off, well, it looks like he tried to write it. Red hot marshmallow squirt squirters on the list. You can tell he that was his spelling for that. And he's taken the wagon to the store. The grocer could not read Max's writing. Eggs, said the grocer. And he gave Max eggs. Max brought the eggs home to Ruby. Don't bump the table, Max, said Ruby. And he's trying, he's gonna put the eggs up there on the table. But he bumped that table, it was too late. Something spilled. So Ruby sent Max back to the store with a list that said, can you read that? What spilled? It was the milk. This time, Max wrote red hot marshmallow squirters in a different way. Max ho hoped and hoped for his squirters, but the grocer still couldn't read Max's writing. Can you read that? Milk, said the grocer, and he gave Max milk. Max brought the milk home to Ruby. There's a yellow line on the floor, said Max. I'm sorry, there's a yellow line on the floor, Max, said Ruby. You can't step over that line. So she made a line there maybe to help uh, prevent Max from messing things up again. But Max crossed the line anyway. Over went the flower. <laughs> Ruby got out her pencil and she wrote down the word flower. Not the kind of flower that's in the yard. This is the kind of flower that you bake with. It's spelled differently but pronounced the same. This time, Max wrote red hot marshmallow squirters in the most beautiful writing he knew. Max could almost taste the marshmallow squirters. Flour, said the grocer, and he gave Max flour. When Max got home, there was a sign on the kitchen door. Max, the kitchen is no place for you, said Ruby. And here's a sign with a line, a circle with a line through it, which usually means don't. So this would be Max, don't. Ruby finished up her cake. So she finished mixing it and making it look like a cake and she baked it in that oven. 
She baked it and cooled it and iced it with raspberry fluff frosting. It needs something else, Max, said Ruby. Birthday candles, silver stars, sugar hearts, buttercream roses, wrote Ruby. Meanwhile, Max had a brand new idea. Can you see what's in his hand? Some crayons? He drew a picture of red hot marshmallow squirters on Ruby's list and ran to the grocer. He could not wait. So instead of writing it this time, he drew a picture. I wonder if that will work. Birthday candles, silver stars, sugar hearts, buttercream roses, said the grocer. What's this? Why, it must be red hot marshmallow squirters. He did indeed know what Max wanted this time because he drew a picture of it. Ruby's cake looked just beautiful. With all those stars and candles. Max went out and put caterpillar icing on his earthworm cake. Which cake would you rather have? Grandma was so thrilled, she didn't know which cake to eat first. So that is the story of bunny cakes. And if you want to take an AR test on this one, this number is 19212. And you can always find those numbers in AR Book Finder. Okay? Thank you for listening to Bunny Cakes.